諸君も知っての通り家督隊南アメリカ支部に特派員として加わっていた後藤君が20年ぶりで帰還したしばらく静養したら今度は日本で諸君と一緒に働いてもらうま長くやってくれいやちょっと待ってくださいよキャップ20年ぶりに帰ってきたんでしょだって後藤隊員はどう見たってなあ30そこそこの年に見受けられますかうん後藤隊員君の年齢は30ですえあのす,するとあのすると後藤の頃から家督隊で働いていたんですか後藤隊員君から説明してやってくれんか私が家督隊員である父と南米ボリビアに渡ったのは今から20年前私が唐の時です父は仕事中にそこで亡くなり一りぼっちの私は特に許されて家督隊南アメリカ支部の見習いとして働き認められて生隊員になったのですじゃあ私たちの大先輩ってわけですねしかしよく日本語を忘れなかったですねもう忘れそうです日本のこともほとんどわかりませんああそうでしょうそうでしょう無理もないです東京タワー高速道路高層ビル競技場20年間にはなんと大きな変化と成長があったことでしょうよろしい私こと井出隊員が大東京の新名所をゆっくりご案内いたしましょうねおいでは家督隊員はガイドもやるのかねうんいやあのそのはあ,あのキャップうん後藤隊員の泊まる場所ですからうんそれなんだわね<音楽>ん It's not so bad for sleeping. Hmm. Fuji, show our guest there. Yes, sir. Fuji? Yes? What kind of materials is used in these walls? You see, one of my hobbies is structural materials. Ah, just reinforced concrete. In addition, there's a cer certain kind of an alloy used in the ferro-concrete of this structure. Huh? I see you don't have any knowledge of it. No, I don't. Only a few officials in the Division of Architecture know of such things. Top secret, eh? I see. Something wrong? Forget it. Captain, I checked the control room and found nothing wrong with the air conditioning. Good. I think there's something strange going on. Like what? I think Goto's story is weird. Hmm? There goes Ito's very instinct. Goto was away for 20 years, and yet we don't know anything about his life there when he was off duty. Wait, I'm with you. However, what I was thinking, well, he's sort of unnatural. Not like one of us. No way. <laughs> I'll get it yet, huh? I think you'll find this to your liking.
井手の言うことも分かるような気がしますねじゃあ君たちはあの後藤氏が謎の怪人物だというのかい<笑>どうしたんだみんな後藤氏の顔写真もちゃんとリストの中にあるし経歴だってさっき彼が喋った通りだ疑い余地はないじゃないかうんキャプテン I was just wondering if you had given Goto the required light ray test. No. When his dossier was delivered to this office the other day, the seal affixed to it showed that he was to get VIP treatment. Hmm. Oh, is our guest finally comfortable? I thought he was very rude. He literally shut the door right in my face. It must be the custom of this country. Fuji, did you notice anything strange in his actions? Or look inside the suitcase he brought. I have strange vibrations. Well, he asked me something I thought strange. He wanted to know the kind of material is used in the construction of this building. Building contractors here use reinforced concrete, you know. Uh-huh. However, he also added, we use a certain ferro alloy in the walls here. What? Fuji, tell that to no one else. Yes, sir. Ito, cable Bolivia to check that dossier. Yes, sir. Do you suspect anything, sir? What he said was right. A special ferro alloy is used in the reinforced concrete of this construction. Hmm. It was designed that way for a protective purpose, in the event of a possible attack with strange weapons. Hmm. If this alloy is known to the world, we're defenseless. Just why would Goto ask that kind of a question? Captain, there's something wrong. Go on. Bolivia isn't receiving our signals. Hayata, check into it. Yes, sir. That's strange. Our transmitter is operating normally. Then why aren't they receiving? There is something very strange going on. Captain, we just received this cable. In the city of Takara, a plant is growing to a tremendous size very rapidly. It seems to be increasing every 30 to 60 seconds. At the rate it's growing, it could very easily turn into a dangerous and destructive creature. Instructions are for the science patrol to check at once. Keep back! Keep back! Get away from there! Don't touch anything! It could be dangerous! Uh, stand back! Get away from there! Stand back, I said! Look at that! My garden's a mess! Some jealous person must have planted it here just to ruin the flowers! All that hard work for nothing! I've studied this vegetation quite carefully here at the university. And this plant is definitely not a mushroom. Doctor, it is vegetation, isn't it? Well, I think we can call it vegetation, but knowledge of the plant is limited to date. If we left it alone to grow, is there a chance it would hurt anyone? Plants that are carnivorous can be dangerous to those near it. I think I understand. In other words, a plant that eats living things can be dangerous if it keeps on growing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Saracenia of North America is a good example. It waits for an insect to touch it, and when that happens, its leaves imprison its prey instantly. All of this reminds me of an interesting case. About 20 years ago, there was a man who went into the Amazon looking for that kind of vegetation. One day, he got lost and discovered a plant that walked and transported itself just like any creature. What? <laughs> Well, it doesn't walk as we do. However, the thing did travel. It was known to hunt down living things, and its touch resulted in paralysis. Then one day it dissolved and was never seen again. Oh, Doctor, it doesn't make sense. I knew you gentlemen would never believe it. However, the story's true. We thought that it had destroyed itself until that weird plant showed up today. This is theoretical, but I venture to say that plant discovered today is Corona of the jungle. Runya, I find this all very interesting. I would like to make a study of additional data to learn of its weaknesses. I see. However, all we have are these notes. The discoverer of Coronia bequeathed these to the university. Look at these sketches. A drawing was made of made of its early form, and another made when it was fully grown. The growth never appeared since? That's right. What's the name of that doctor who was the discoverer of the plant? 
the one individual whose teachings I'll always cherish, Dr. Goto, the scientist. Goto? seems to work without electricity. Close the discussion saying he thinks Coroni is the suspicious plant. And if what he says turns into fact, we're faced with a very dangerous situation and we'll have to act instantly. That's for certain. We should destroy it while it's still in the city of Takara. Yes, sir. But what are we going to do about Goto? We have to consider that man to be just as dangerous. I was just thinking of that. We will certainly have to watch him and, and not let him know. Fuji. Fuji, where are you? Fuji! Remember the Joe Gokaraste, Fujiko Sota Nanimonoka, only showcase no Nakani Sunday to Monto Marimasa. Fushigi desne, Watashiga Iruaida, Nanto Monakata. Fuji tying a high tictanoa, Watashiga de Kaketekara, Amari Jiganga Tate inakata has this. Ayata, I don't find anything unusual. Hmm. Wait, when I noticed that box before, it wasn't all lit up like this. Ito, what are you talking about? That's strange. Hmm. I'm afraid a connection got dislodged and root here. I just fixed it. Hmm. Goto, that is your suitcase, isn't it? That's right. Is there anything more? Mm hmm. Hmm. You understand our concern. It's very good of you to assist us in this way. Let's check further. sample and find out quickly enough. I'm afraid our suspicions are correct. This is part of the blood-sucking plant Coronia. It seems to be far more advanced in growth than when Dr. Goto discovered it. Your new man named Goto could be his son with very evil intentions. has discovered the truth. This specimen is human blood. Coronia is living on humans. and you're out to kill me.
plan to kill the doctor, you monster. <clears throat> Coronia's instincts increase in certain developed stages. The plant developed a taste for humans. I observe that if it exists on its present diet, it will grow into a fantastic size. In eight years, it could absorb the world. So that's it. Goto tried to kill the doctor when he found out that Goto was the blood-sucking plant. very closely to the following command. All of us are to attack the creature immediately. We'll use the plane, so check your supplies. Roger and out. Oh. Hayata, oh, I see. Hayata! Hayata, didn't you just hear the orders now? becomes Ultraman. the whole fleet of aircraft at 8 o'clock, wing formation. Get ready to attack. Ready, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
we run out of ammunition at this rate. There are so many aircraft, we don't stand a chance. I'd like to know what Hayata's doing right this second. I can't understand his running away. got very frightened when this door suddenly opened. The monster tried to overtake her and oh, she fainted dead away. I was forced into unconsciousness. How about reenacting the scene more accurately? All right. It was those rays of his that really stung your eyes, correct? Right? <laughs> Ito, enough. <laughs> Captain, this box was their method of communication. Mm. They learned to generate electricity using a stellar cathode substance, which was how this could function without electric cords. It looks as if they had an exceedingly high voltage. Captain, that evil-looking plant at Takara City, we uprooted it and destroyed it. Good. It was very strange. For some reason, the monster plant burned better than dried wood, which assisted us in destroying it. Everyone took a leaf for the stoves. Mm. So now you know. No? Know what? Those leaves had a very low kindling range. It's a matter of vegetation and nature. If there's fire, they cannot grow safely whenever they're threatened with it. No, I know. When you worked your lighter, Goto was frightened of it. Is that right? The Captain, I still don't understand how it was possible for it to create others. That's a good question, Hayata. Oh! oh. Doctor, do you really know why? Even in our sophisticated world filled with scientific records, there is still a lot we do not know yet. The world still contains nature's own mysteries. This case is one of those where our knowledge is limited. There is also no guarantee that it could never occur again. Our society has grown very soft ever since science has done most of our hard work. We take a lot for granted, gentlemen. We hardly ever think of the world of nature. I am afraid we still have a lot to learn.